IBF Super Welterweight Championship is on the line as Jamal Charlo will put his championship on the line against Austin No Doubt Trout. Getting set, let's take a look at our tail of the tape here. The height advantage clearly in the favor of Jamal Charlo. They both weighed in relatively similar. And the reach advantage is in the favor of Jamal Charlo. And now let's head up to our ring announcer, the Hall of Famer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Well, fans from the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas, we present our next World Championship attraction brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime, sponsored by Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina. This bout is sanctioned by the IBF, the President Daryl Peoples Supervisor Rob Scott. Introducing our judges, scoring from ringside, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Robert Hoyle. From Flushing, Queens, New York, John McKay. And from Las Vegas, Glenn Trowbridge. Introducing a referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions. After the introductions, Russell Mora. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, black and silver trim, hailing from Las Cruces, New Mexico. He weighed in right at the limit of 154 pounds. His fine record stands at 30 wins, two losses, 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the IBF number seven junior middleweight contender. Please welcome the former WBA super welterweight champion of the world, Austin, no doubt, Trow. And his opponent across the ring, the defending champion on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red, white, and a light blue trunks. Like his world champion brother, he is fighting out of Houston, Texas. His weight, 153 and one quarter pounds, undefeated in his campaign with a record of 23 wins, no losses, 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the second defense of his title. Here is the undefeated and reigning IBF junior middleweight champion of the world, known as the future of boxing, introducing Jamal Charlo. Once again, there's a referee in charge, Russell Mora. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. You know what I expect, a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands. God bless you both, touch up. There you see Jamal Cholo and Austin No Doubt Trout. The IBF Super Welterweight Championship is on the line. Can big brother Jamal continue his reign? Or will Austin No Doubt Trump claim championship gold once again? Austin Trump wearing the white, black, and the silver, wearing the red, white, and blue. Houston Oilers colors, Jermaine Charlo, and we are underway. It's interesting to note that Jermaine Charlo has never fought a southpaw. And Jamal actually switched to lefty as an amateur, has done it as a pro, but not that often. Austin, no doubt, Trout coming off of a victory over Joey Hernandez back in September of last year. Trout had opportunities to fight before tonight, but wanted to wait on his world title opportunity that he has here tonight. Austin, no doubt, Trout. You know, to be able to go into hostile territory like Madison Square Garden and to defeat one, Miguel Cotto, uh, that says something. And Austin no doubt Trout coming from New Mexico, Las Cruces, New Mexico, to be exact. Put your hands, guys. And Put that has hands. been the home of many outstanding fighters from New Mexico, Johnny Tapia, Danny Romero, Bob Foster. So New Mexico has a rich tradition in championship fighters, including Holly Holm as well, from a boxing and MMA standpoint. So, and Austin, no doubt, Trout. I mean, you can tell that Jamal Charlo is bigger than Austin Trout, but I will say that Trout is a slick speed. And a nice straight left that caught the chin of Jamal Charlo, but Charlo's coming out being more active. 
Justin Trout with his record of 17 wins by knockout. He has deceptive power. I mean, just ask Miguel Cotto of what Austin Trout was able to do to him in a nice lead left hand to the midsection of Jamal Charlo. A lead right hand that back Austin Trout off of him. And you know, I wouldn't even dare to say that this is the lightest no, I've seen. Go. This is the most lean I free. have seen Austin Trout. Maybe he felt he needed to free. maneuver around the ring Stop. in a Let more go. efficient manner. Keep your hands free. Under a minute to go in this first round. But Jamal, he, he just looks terrific. Throwing the jab that caught the chin of Austin Trout. Stop! No, and a slip no, there. Russell Morta right on top of the action. And with Austin Trout, he's going, he, he's changing his levels. He's bringing his legs. I mean, that, that takes a lot of lower body strength to go down. And maybe he's trying to get underneath and evade the shots of Jamal Charlem and also give him a different look. He's got like a little picky boo style that he is going in and throwing different different looks from an upper body standpoint. And a jab that landed, but see, it's an economical Time. punch like the jab as we close out the first round. Beautiful round, baby. Good round, good round. I got it. They were happy with what they saw in the first round. But Ronnie Shields, you heard him tell Jamal Charlo, you're doing Seconds beautiful. Out. And it's so interesting that Jamal has never fought a lefty, but he continuously goes to battle and spars with our main event combatant in Erislandi Lara. So when you're in there against Erislandi Lara, you learn a lot. For Barry Hunter, he was telling Austin Trout to work behind the jab. And you know, it's so unique that Jamal has a fascination with lions. He has the heart of a lion tattooed across his chest on social media. He uses the hashtag lions only. And as I mentioned in our first bout that the entrance to the Plex Performance Gym, there's a giant sign that reads lions welcome. And Plex is actually used for the Stop. NFL's Andy Dalton, Andrew Luck, Charles Pina Tillman, okay. among others. And it employs high modern training methods. And we're seeing the explosiveness that Jamal Charlo has. And he caught Austin Trout as Trout decides to retreat a little bit backwards. You know, Jamal Charlo, his jab looks sensational. He's going throw to the body, throwing to the jab, and you, know, you are witnessing that the height advantage that Jamal is fighting tall, and he's doing it in such a wise manner. Austin comes in and he gets caught by the left hook. And now Trump doesn't like getting blitzed by a left hook. Jamal understands if he is going to be the cream of the crop at 154 pounds, putting together a sensational performance against hands Austin Trout will benefit hands that free. cause. Now get him up, Jamal, get screen. Now some inside fighting as Austin Trout goes downstairs. <laughs> Jamal Charlo peppering Austin Trout with that jab. You can hear in the distance, Ronnie Seal say, double, double up on the jab. Austin Trout is a well-traveled veteran. Turned pro in 2005 in September of that year. Was mowing guys down. His first 10 of 12 victories came inside the distance. But for Austin Trout, he's got to gain the respect of Jamal Charlo. Otherwise, Charlo is going to walk forward and continue in his quest to cut off the ring. And Trout with a nice lead left right to the chest, and that'll take some of the wind out of your lungs. Closing moments of the second round between Austin Trout and Jermaine Charles. Time! How we feeling, babe? Yeah. All right. Seconds up.
There you see Jermaw Charlo and Ronnie Shields giving him some terrific instructions. Third round scheduled for 12. Wants him to lean, throw the left hook and get everything behind it, lean with it. What, what is the that hip hop song? Lean with it, rock with it. Well, he'll be leaning and rocking if he's able to defend his title and go back to his brother in the dressing room. But so far, Austin Trout is still a very crafty veteran who has been in there with some upper echelon competition like Erislandi Lara, Canelo Alvarez, and Miguel Toro. Watch your heads, guys. Watch your heads. And Austin is a thinking man's fighter. He's always looking for an open, and he just got blasted with the lead right hand, and he got, oh my, fucked with his knees for a quick moment. Ronnie Shields instructed to Jermall, throw the right hand, and then I want to left hook right behind it and get all your leverage and torque with it. And just look at the back of Jermall Charlo. I mean, he is a specimen. And anything that Austin Trout throws at him has Little to no effect, and if you're Austin Trout, you should be now going to the body, throwing that lead left to the body, and can just try to chop him down. He's taller than you. You know what they say about taller people. You chop them down, and that is exactly what he's trying to do, but he continuously gets ripped by a right cross. As Jamal Trello, another lead right hand. He is really flustering and Bludgeoning Austin Trump. It has been a scintillating third round by the Houston native. And if you're Jamal Charlo, your confidence has got to be so high, especially when you deal. It is so difficult to find anybody as crafty of a southpaw like Erislandi Lara. So against Austin Trump, he's got to be wondering look, every day I go head to head against. Erislandi Lara, the Cuban amateur standout, the world champion. What can Austin Trout do to me? I got to go out and just apply my game plan, which is exactly what he is doing. <laughs> what I like about Jamal Charlo is even though he fights tall, he never really leaves his chin in the air. He always has that, that left hook, and he just got caught with a nice left hook or right hook by Austin Trump, his best punch of the fight. Trump raise in the books. Let's take a Deep look at some work out. by Jermaine Trello, that double Deep jab followed by out. that right, right One across more. the top right. that connected and there we see that lead right hand that, oh my, you saw the sweat fly off of Austin Trout. And here we see more action from later on in the round by Jermaw Charlo. What, oh my, he really got a lot of leverage behind it. That was like a, a right hook, and he brought all his weight behind it and connected it. Did Jermaw Charlo, we're seeing some of the work by Austin Trout as he came in with a nice right hook that landed on the chin of Jermaine Charla, but to little, no effect. There we see the lovely Carla here. Seconds the out. fourth round as she's one of our Corona girls, La Cerveza Mas Fina. Round four scheduled for 12 as Jamal Charlo in control against Austin Trout. We're seeing more bonds on the staff of Austin Trout. And you know that Austin Trout and that Hensley, Jamal Stop. Charlo has spoken with there as Landy Lar to try to figure out one Austin Trout. And now Trout coming forward, he's being the aggressor. He's picking up his pressure. Hands free. There you go. Hands They're free, in guys. close Hands quarters. Free. And Austin Trout threw an uppercut to the body of Jamal Charlo. That Hands lead free, right Hands hand, free. the champ followed by the right hand that he lays so beautifully is barely missing Austin Trout. Ah. 
Houston is known for having a litany of world champions. Add Jermel into the mix, but Raul Marquez, Juan Diaz, George Foreman, and also the Charlo brothers. Austin Trump looking, aiming, targeting the body. Jamal flicking out that jab, and for Jamal, he gets full extension behind that jab, but he got caught by a straight left right down the pipe. Compliments of Austin Trump. Trout is going backwards, but you would have to gather that Trout needs to set more traps. Jamal's coming in and he's, he throws straight punches, but Austin has to find that opening in order to land. Under a minute to go in this fourth round. Scheduled for 12. Jamal misses with that right hand. And for Jamal Charlo, he has never been down, but he's been doing a lot of knocking down during the course of his career, having coming off a fourth round stoppage of Wilkie Camford. 18 of his 23 victories have come inside the distance. Closing moments of this fourth round as Jamal Charlo continues to walk down Austin Trump, but Trump is able to get in some good power punches in a fourth and eventful round. Everything is good, baby. Everything is good. Go, Daddy. Second, Daddy, so. Daddy, Daddy. Ronnie Shields very pleased with how things have been going for his 26-year-old product out of Houston. But throw the jab, and then I want that straight right. That is exactly what Jamal Charlo stated, or what Ronnie Shields told Jamal. Now Jamal continues to beat the aggressor. And with Austin trotting, he's got to find a way to either come forward more and use every inch of that ring or be an effective counterpuncher. Because Charlo has had him flustered and he just, oh, and he gets caught by a nice right hook. That certainly blaze the whiskers of Jamal Charlo. Trot has got to be more economical and, and give us more volume of punches. Jermel has to be economical, whereas Trot needs to really zero in on the target, but he can't wait too long. This is the fifth round, scheduled for 12. And he gets caught, he blitzed. And he landed a nice left hook by Austin Trotty. He didn't like that too much. And a lead right hand, but Trout throws back. But Jamal Charlo is coming forward and really elevating his output in this fifth round. And now some nice Watch your heads, guys. Watch your heads. close quarters fighting is Austin Trout and Jamal Charlo, but Trout, his right eye seems to be getting a little swelled up from those left hooks by Jamal Charlo. But as Charlo leaned in, he got caught by a right hook. But throwing back a chopping right hand right on the left eye was Jamal Charlo. And Charlo throws the jab and he follows it up, laying that right hand right over the top. Starting to see that Trump, that right eye is swelling just a little bit. And when you are a fighter that relies on his movement, you need to be able to see everything. And now Charlo has him against the corner. The question is, can Charlo start to cut off the ring a little bit more? Stop! And Trump 
moves forward and he throws two left hands. One of them missed, one of them connected. Trout breathing a little bit heavily, whereas Charlie looks like he can go and he threw a nice, he stepped into that jab. That seems to be getting the best Gun. of Austin Trout. That's the end of the I fifth a, round. I got a small cut, small cut, punch. Let's take a look at some of the work by Jamal Charlo as Trout came in and landed a right hook, followed by a, he stepped into that straight left, right down the middle. But Charlo coming forward and landing that right hand. He squared himself up. He got a lot of leverage behind it as Trout wincing after he got caught with that right hand. Full extension by Jamal you can Charlo. Put him on the inside if you need to. Don't pull straight back. And hold the phone, Austin. Barry Hunter informing Austin Trout, hold the phone, I want more body work. When he says hold the phone, that means he wants his guard up a little bit more because Jamal Charlo is landing his power punches because apparently the phone isn't being held by Austin Trout. Barry Hunter, one of the best in the business. We have a matchup with two outstanding fighters with Jamal Charlo and Austin Trout, but also two esteemed trainers. You gotta give credit too to one Jamal Charlo is you know fighting the softball for the first time in the pros. He has looked superb at least through the first five rounds of this fight. And Trout gets caught by a lead right hand by Jamal Charlo. Go, hands free, come out. Trout trying to load up on that right hook. But it's about setting traps. Again, he's got to do something. Throw the jab to the body, move to the right, and hope that Jamal Charlo comes in so you can throw that left hand right over the top. And Trout just seems to be retreating, and it's one punch at a time. He's not thinking as much as he should be. Maybe he's thinking, and his body's not responding. I mean, you're in there with, I mean, it is so apropos that on the trunks of Jamal Charlo, it's Lions only because Austin Trout is in there with a young, hungry lion who understands that bigger prize fights await him if he's able to look outstanding against Austin Trout. And Trout threw that left hand that landed. Under a minute to go, and still that, that right eye continues to swell for Austin Trout. A lot of that is a byproduct of the jam that we've seen out of the 26-year-old. And you know, when Trout throws, as he gets caught, the two shots to the body, and then a right hand that landed right at the jaw. And now Jamal Charlo really picking it up here with a left hook. Also, is going to call time. Let's see your head. Okay, that you're good. was an inner head. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised that hasn't happened earlier. Because when you get a southpaw fighter that's slick like Austin Trout and a conventional fighter like Jamal Charlo, and now they come in. What a shot by Austin Trout. But Jamal Charlo looks at him and continues to move forward. This has been ebb and flow action in this sixth round. As we are done, a right hand there by Jamal Charlo. Step outside of the encounter with your left hand right hook. All right? You, Two though, one down, one up. Okay? It's a sneaky right hand that he rounds. brought from downstairs. Okay. And Austin Trout didn't you. like that whatsoever, which is why. And now we're going to see as the heads come together. Boom, right there. Thankfully, no blood was caused there. There was no cut whatsoever. We're seeing here we see both guys trying to throw their punches and boom. Second that doesn't feel good whatsoever. This is the seventh round. As we begin the second half of the fight between Jamal Charlo and Austin Trout, Barry Hunter letting 
Austin Trout, no, do not pull straight back. And that is exactly what happened as Jamal Trout was able to land that powerful right hand where Jamal brought it from his waist and got a lot of leverage behind it. Throwing that jab, and he comes in with the left hook. Austin Trout came in forward, and he was welcomed with the chopping right hand. Now Jamal looking to let his hand slide a little bit more with that left hook, but Austin Trout realizes in his mind he has got to throw more punches. This one, one shot at a time, two shots at a time, and his combinations is what he needs. Because the more methodical, powerful punch in Jamal Charlo has had his way for the most part. And just look at the legs. I mean, they're like tree trunks that Jamal Charlo has. I mean, they, really, they, they say it in boxing all the time. Everything comes from the legs. And if you look at the calf muscles of Jamal Charlo, I mean, they are really something to behold. And he uses a good job of keeping his distance. And, and Trout is a technician, but he's got to make some adjustments and, and set more traps and, and try to get the attention of Jamal Charlo. He, he did that. And he caught him with an uppercut from the right hand. And Jamal Charlo is in throwing the jab. He's waiting a little bit. He has that left shoulder. And he's, he's punching down at Austin Trout because of the size difference. And Austin Trout sometimes, and a beautiful straight left as Jamal Charlo smiles. But you know what that means? That means he got hurt. Because many times, and now Jamal Charlo wants to answer back. Well, just goes to show you the chin that Jamal has. 15 seconds. Closing stages of the seventh round between Jamal Charlo and Austin Trump. What a shot there, and a titanic right hand that lands by Jamal yeah. Charlo. And this isn't a 90 sitcom, but Trout saved by the bell as Jamal Charlo giving a thumbs up to his brother. Let's take a look here as that nice straight left right down the center by Jamal Charlo. And here we see Charlo Picking up as he got caught with that straight left, but boom, that right hand that wobbled. Austin Trout, he looked like a bobblehead doll there for a quick second as Trout clutching it. Ronnie Shields senses that Austin Trout is tired. He wants his protege, his fighter in Jamal Charlo to pick up his punch output and mix in some uppercuts. Austin Trout had that nice straight left, but he could not even enjoy the fruits of his labor because he was welcomed with a crushing right hand. You know, they say when it comes to dealing with the bigger, stronger fighter, that speed is the equalizer. Well, Austin Trout needs to find a way to get on his bicycle and put together more combinations and, and be quicker. And maybe it's the fact that he's 30 years of age, and I'm not saying 30 is old whatsoever, but he's got to find a way to find that fountain of youth and, and showcase more speed. Nice shot as both land. Spit out a little bit of something to clear his lungs there for a quick second. And he caught 
Jamal Chola right to the sternum area. the ring but it's it's not I'd like to see more feints out of him if he could throw some more feints I mean he is his chin has been a stationary target he's moving a lot to his left and Chavo has done a nice job of being able to time that a left hook as Trout had his head low. It has been a nice right hand right over a piston-like right hand there by Jermont Charlo. So far, so good for the IBF. Super welterweight champion and another concussive right hand by Jermont Charlo. Austin Trout is certainly earning his paycheck here tonight. He is in there with a very strong and determined Jermont Charlo. Time. And that right eye of Austin Two. Trout does not look good whatsoever, and Barry Hunter is telling him, you can make history. But when Barry is saying that, he has a military attitude where he wants to pump up his fighters. That means that Barry understands that they're down on the scorecards big. So Austin Trott has got to dig down deep, and Barry Hunter knows his fighter like nobody else. We'll find out what Austin Trout can do in this ninth round. And again, Charlo continues to stalk him, and he throws a right cross that lands again. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet, guys. Let's go. What I like about Jamal Charlo is how composed he is. Even though he ate a couple of straight laps and he's dealing with the softball for the first time in his pro career, he is masterful in how he's walking down Austin Trout. He's not allowing Trout to get off the hook when he's willing to absorb a shot or two so he can throw a powerful shot. And Trout steps in and throws two straight left hands right down the middle. Also with Jamal Charlo, you see him in his upper body is so big that he has a little bit of a shoulder roll, but it, it's an offensive shoulder roll in, in many aspects. He protects himself at, at all times. He rolls with some shots. But now Austin Henry. Trout is doing exactly what Barry Honor said, and that is being more active. Trout has that sense of urgency. Here in the ninth. <laughs> you want that wide eye of Austin Trout. It's very close to potentially being shut. Louis Burke is going to have his work cut out for him as he tries to open up that wide eye of Austin Trout. <laughs> Action of Jamal Charlo. And as Charlo came in forward, he absorbed a straight left. This has been the best round of the fight so far for Austin, no doubt. Trout, as he came out and has put his foot on the gas pedal and has found a way to neutralize Jamal Charlo up until the end of that round. As we head towards the 10th. Yeah. All right, let's go. Number 10, baby. I need these three rounds, right? Ronnie Shields. 
even though his man is ahead, says he wants these three rounds. He wants Jamal Charles to double up on the jab, get closer, and then not even giving him specific instructions, but says just let your hands go. And he let his hands go right there with a clubbing right hand. Trout tried to step inside and he just ate a jab as well. That right eye does not look good for the 30-year-old out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. You have to gather that Jamal Charlie would love nothing more than to bring an end to Austin Trout's night. As Trout went in leaning for a straight left and then he ate a left hook. And now Charlo moving forward, but he absorbed a left hand coming in. And now it looks like a cut on the right eye of Austin Trout. As Charlo is fishing, but he is, he's eating some of those straight lefts, but Trout is cut now on the right eye and it is bleeding. It's above the right eyebrow. There is a laceration above the right eye of Austin Trout. And you know that Jamal Charlo is going to target that eye in only moments. But Trout is coming on in this ninth and 10th round. And Trout is showing some of that veteran savviness and he's displayed and a nice check right hook there by Austin Trout. Moving, going forward to the body as he gets out of the way of Jamal Charlo. This has been a beautiful boxing exhibition in this 10th round by Austin Trout. I guess in the words of a wounded animal, when they draw blood, sometimes they react in two different ways. Sometimes they implode, other times they say, you know what, I have to pick it up, I have to show some things, and that is exactly what Austin Trout has done to his credit in this 10th round. And also, you have to play into the mind of the three judges, Robert Hoyer, John McKay, Glenn Trowbridge, what do they remember, especially these championship rounds? Austin Trout is being the matador compared to the bull of Jamal Charlie. Well, well, well. How the tide has turned a little bit in these in this ninth and this tenth round as we are nearing the championship rounds. All right, make sure, like I said, I want you on the outside of that shit. You got me? Listen. Let's take a look at some of the work here by Jamal Charlo throwing that right hand that sent Austin Trout, his head backwards. Now we're going to witness some of the work. There we see the, it's, tar it's target practice there by Jamal Charlo as he is focusing in on that eye. Is the 26-year-old out of Houston. And we see Louis Burke, who is working quickly, throwing the coagulate above the right eye of Austin Trout. The 11th round scheduled for 12. The IBF Super Welterweight Championship is on the line. A champion, Jamal Charlo, looking to be successful as his brother Jamil won the world title in our opening contest, the first twins to be world champions in the same division. First time that has happened here in the history of boxing. Barry Hunter informing Austin Trout, change your levels and also change your speeds as well. Set the traps. Austin Trout wants to take on that world title to New Mexico. And as Jamal Charlo came in, he got tattooed by a straight left right down the pipe. Jamal's been hit with some flush shots. And Austin, you know, is 
trying to really get some more of that going. A wild straight left, but a choppy right hand to Austin Trout. Couple minutes of Jamal Charlo. If you're Austin Trout, you don't want no part of your back against the ropes. You know that from a retreating standpoint, but Tremont, Austin Trout has got to keep himself in the center of that ring. Approaching a minute to go, Charlo stalking and pushing Austin Trout against the ropes. He's looking for that submarine right hand. Downstairs to the abdominal region by Jermont Charlo. <laughs> Trout comes in, he threw that left hand to the chin of Charlo, but it got caught. Potentially two, the winner of this fight may have to go head to head against Julian J. Rock Williams, the rising junior or super welterweight star out of Philadelphia. Gets leveled with the left hook. We are nearing the end of the 11th round. The 12th and final round awaits here in Las Vegas between Jamal Charlo and Austin Trout. And a left hook punctuating the round for Jamal Charlo. We're starting to see Austin Trout. What a left hand. Followed by, he stepped inside with the right hook there that landed right on the chin of Jermon Charlo. Boxing. He gonna be desperate. Run him into it, step around. All right? Don't take no crazy chances. The worst thing you can do is pull back with your hands down. All right? Super welterweight champion. Mo, we need this one. I'm taking Mo. He's telling his older brother by a minute, we need Let's this go. round. Younger brother knows how important this is. The 12th and final round as the Chelsea here at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas comes alive as both fighters and Austin Trout landed a clean straight left right down the middle. Another one. Barry Hunter telling Austin Trout, do not, under no circumstances, take any chances and pull back. Ronnie Shields wants Jamal Charlo to be more active and walk down Austin Trout. The title may be hanging in the balance. And they both, Austin Trout connects with a nice right hook that backed up Jamal Charlo momentarily. And a straight left that landed right on the right cheekbone of Jamal Charlo. Austin Trout has looked sensational from the ninth round on. Could it be too little too late? As Charlo doubling up on the jab under two minutes to go in this World Championship matchup. I know that Hollywood is known for having high drama. Well, we got high drama here in the fighting capital of the world. Jermaine Charlo aiming to flick the jab, but it has been Austin Trout who has finally been able to be successful with that straight left. As Jamal Charlie threw the jab, but Austin Trout did a nice job of show some distance, and he snuck that right hook right over the top of that jab. And the blood continues to pour out of the right eye of Austin Trout. It's stop! Under a minute to go. Well, Jamal Charlo retain his title. Oh, what a nice right hand as Trout shakes his head as to say no. I say yes, because that is a sign that he was clipped. And Jamal Charlo again. He's now stalking Austin Trout. 
coming up on the final moments of this IBF Super Welterweight Championship matchup as Jamal Charlo looking to make a successful second defense. Boston Trout looking to get back and put championship gold around his waist. Final 10 seconds between Austin Trump and Jamal Charlo as the fans here rise to their feet. A tremendous matchup between two talented fighters as they embrace outstanding display of respect. Ronnie Shields embracing Austin Trump. Some respect between the two. Terrific fight between Jamal Charlo and Austin Trump. His right arm raised in what he appears to believe is a victory. The fucking beast. Come on. You good? Taking a look at some of those straight lefts by Austin Trout. Some of the action from the fight. What a right hand. That was a right cross there by Jamal Charlo, and they both just really laying it all hang out in a right hand, that right on the button, and a left hook there. Some of the work there by Jermaine Charlo. He is so powerful. And credit to Austin Trout for remaining upright. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here at the Chelsea, we go to the scorecards. Judge ringside, John McKay scores about 115 to 113. Glenn Trowbridge and Robert Hoyle both score about 116 to 112. All three in favor of the winner by unanimous decision. And still champion, Jermall. 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 Jermall Charlo embraces his brother, so right here, the belt right stays. The IBF Super Welterweight Championship stays with Jermall Charlo. And the fans, some of them not happy. They both high five each other. A great display of sportsmanship. Austin Trout started too little, too late. And it was Jermaul Charlo who accumulated a lead early. And that was enough.